We're here today talking with Coach Kendrick Saunders of the Seton Hill University men's basketball team. Coach, uh, before we talk about the upcoming season, let's look back on last year. You know, your first year as the head coach of the Griffins, mm -hmm. uh, you have a PSAC tournament berth. What was it like for you coming into the school and taking over the, a brand new team, going in it, and then making the PSAC tournament? Well, David, it was, it was great. Uh, the young men that we had in our program, uh, when we came in, our staff came in, really, really bought in uh, to what we were trying to do with the program, and, and it was a great feel, you know, getting an opportunity to play in the postseason, and uh, especially see our seniors get an opportunity um, to be able to try to go out the right way and compete uh, one last time was great for those guys and, and great for our program in general. Coach, you've practiced for a few weeks. You've had a scrimmage. What have you learned about your team so far? Well, you know, it's 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 both. It's it's uh, you know what we learn from them and they learn from us of of um, you know continuing to keep working, obviously competing, um, you know, and especially you know with our guys is understanding it's a forty minute game um, that we got to continue to get better every day, and you know the small details matter as we continue to improve uh, throughout the rest of the season. Uh, you talk about small details. Uh, you have nine freshmen coming in, that's a lot. You're going to have a pretty young team. How have they adjusted from going to, uh, in some cases, small high school ball to now the college game? Well, it's been great. It's been great. You know, it's a, it's a good teaching uh, classroom now, as I tell those guys. It's a, you know, when you have young guys, you know, you got to spend more time going over the details and, and making sure they understand uh, and that the message is, is really made clear. So it's been fun. Uh, it's been a great time for those guys learning the opportunities here at Seton Hill on and off the court. So it's, it's been a good time so far. You return all PSAC performer and all academic all or academic all American Nate Davis. Uh, talk about his performance on the court and in the classroom and what that actually means to the team and the school. Yeah, you know it's uh, he's actually more in three parts. I, I think uh, you know first speaking to his character as a young man, high character young man uh, has been. Um, been a strong leader uh, for our basketball club, uh, you know, since the first day of school started, especially with our young team. And uh, he's been great. But academically, it's very important. Um, always focus on his academic and studies, but uh, does a very good job of balancing the basketball and the academics. But uh, his character as a young man is it's spread out throughout our team, and, and that's why he's one of our team captains. He's rocking the mustache this year. Uh, is that going to stay, or are we going to see a shave? Or what, how's that going to play out this year? You know, he. Uh, you know, I know he can shoot the ball really well, and I know he does some good things. So whatever, whatever he's comfortable with is fine with me. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, as well as you know, with Nate Davis, uh, you return guards Keelan Coates and Anth and uh, Anthony Carabatsas. I. Uh, that means you have three experienced guards slash forwards kind of running the show. What does that mean for your team? Well, they, they do everything, you know, not only, um, you know, you know, on the court, but off the court, you know, with leadership and all three of those guys, as you mentioned, are our, our, our team captains, um, you know, Keelan, they and Anthony, they all bring something great to the table. Um, you know, they bring the experience, they bring understanding um, and they bring and, and help build us as we continue to build our culture here at Seton Hill University. So um, they've just been big overall, you know, on the court and off the court with, with basketball stuff and, and academics and, and overall to set an example uh, for our program. Talk a little bit about the PSAC uh, in, in not just the West, um, a lot of very, very competitive teams. Not only do you have your IUP, which is a perennial powerhouse, you have Mercyhurst, who went on a run last year and made it to the D2 Elite Eight. Uh, what are the expectations, you know, for your team, and who do you expect to be on sitting on top of the PSAC at the end? Well, it's, um, you know, for our expectations is to go out every day and compete uh, and try to be the best version of ourselves. And, and as, I, as I spoke earlier, is just to take care of the details every day and, you know, let the, you know, just let the basketball guys control the rest. Um, but our league is so, you know, it's so heavy on, on the east and the west side. Um, everybody's good. Um, everybody's good day in, day out. Um, so to pick a clear, it's tough. Uh, it's just so so many great coaches and great players um, that, that are in the league. It's it's uh, it's competitive every night. So it's it's going to be a dogfight no matter what. 
Well, Coach, thank you very much. Seton Hill tips off the 2019-20 season when they travel to Wheeling University, formerly Wheeling Jesuit University, on this Wednesday. The Griffins' first home game is on November 23rd against Mansfield. Thank you, Coach. Oh, thanks, Dave. Appreciate it.